I chose Kodiak because it's a hub. It is, in my opinion, like one of the most centrally located, you know, well-equipped and accessible marine hubs in Alaska. I've had a lot of use in the boat harbor here. I have a vessel here that's still active. Kodiak is probably the most diverse and the largest port in the state. For over 40 years, St. Herman Harbor has served commercial, subsistence, and recreational fishing activities, received cargo and supplies, connected the Alaska Marine Highway System to the city, facilitated military and scientific operations, and accommodated the growing cruise and recreational expeditionary traffic transiting the Arctic. The harbor's infrastructure, which was originally constructed in 1982, has exceeded its useful life. The exposure to the austere marine environmental elements and the ravages of time have taken a toll, resulting in the loss of vessel berths faster than they can be replaced, and multiple collapsed pilings and floats. This impacts both our moorage capacity, ability to house our fleet, and the revenue generated for the harbor. It's, it's a never-ending never -ending cycle of trying to make it a suitable and applicable, and it, it's really kind of a shame because it's, it, it's important to the community. It makes it a lot more difficult for families and you know the community to go out and fill their freezers for the winter time. The harbor is used by everybody, commercial fishermen, sports fishermen, you know, locals. It's, it's used by everybody. So Kodiak has the largest Coast Guard base in the country. We are a certified and recognized Coast Guard city. We just went through that again. We're very proud of that. We also know that the Coast Guard base here is vital. Kodiak is an ice-free port. There aren't many ice-free ports on Western Alaska that can accommodate any kind of being a gateway to the Arctic. The Arctic right now is a major, major strategic place for different countries. And the USA, we need to be on top of it. We will continue to advocate for Kodiak being the gateway to the Arctic. Kodiak really is the hub for all those things. And without the facilities we can get and should have, without that, we're losing economic development opportunities, we're lo losing boats, we're losing labor, we're losing residents. But we we're expecting somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 million fish and we haven't even got 10 yet. Ngunit hindi lamang kabuhayan natin ang nakataya. Ito ang aming paraan ng pamumuhay. Ang daungan ay kung saan lumilika at nagbabahagi ng mga kwento at tradisyon. With your backing, we'll create more jobs, attract commercial activity and tourists, allowing us to reinvest in the heart of our community. Kodiak's geographic location has continued to serve as a strategic location and is emerging as a gateway to the open Arctic. And with your help, we can embrace this vital role. So let's reconstruct St. Herman Harbor, the lifeblood of our community, where the legacy of our ancestors merges with the promises of tomorrow. Stand with us, support us, and be a part of this journey. Together we can build a sustainable future, a future that honors our heritage, sustains our livelihoods, and fosters growth and prosperity. Koyana. <laughs> <laughs>